727! 727! When you see it! When you fucking see it! 727! 727! When you fucking see it! When you fucking see it! When you see it! Ah, oh, damn it. So close. 727! 727! When you see it! When you fucking see it! 727! 727! When you fucking see it! When you fucking see it! When you see it! When you fucking see it! 727! 727! Ah, oh, damn it. So close. 727! 727! When you see it! When you fucking see it! 727! 727! When you fucking see it! When you fucking see it! When you see it!
Hello, chat. <laughs> Looks like we are going to be having a commentator. I just woke up. <laughs> and right now we are getting a taste of the Osu client. <laughs> Only Tweed really wants to play the map. That does great. And now, now Glass Wave is trying to catch up. <laughs> We're just going to keep waiting for Glass Wave until they're both at the same. Glass is going to be breaking near the end. And Tweet's going to hold. Oh, wait, not towards it? Wait, what? <laughs> I thought they both had the same stream. I guess Glass Wave is still going. <laughs> Could he beat Tweet here? Probably not. <laughs> Bro, Bancho is just having a fucking. Bancho is not, not it right now. Looks like we're going to be playing the farm map. We're going to be playing Sotarx. <laughs> we're going to be playing Log Off now as uh, Mitsuboshi Jump Diff of Colors Power. It's going to be really awesome. Alright, both loading to the lobby. Tweed, the resident hidden player in Glass Wave with no mod. The question is, will anyone break on these first jumps? Nope, they both hold. Alright, you're both farmers. Please step out of the lobby and just go play a Sotar snap. <laughs> See, I think one of my problems when I was playing in this tournament is that I never used hidden. And, like, hidden's not that hard for me. Like, I'm pretty good with hidden. And it, I was playing the, um, the tech pick, you know, John Go Bum. And I was, oh, Tweed breaking, though, as I was saying with hidden. Yes, it is harder for him. And Glass Saber's gonna run away with it. Tweed with another break. But as I was saying, um, when I was playing the uh, tech pick with Hidden, uh, normally, okay, so I, context, I suck at low BPM streams, and 175 is low for me, so, um, yeah, and with Hidden, I was double S'ing them, but with no mod, I literally, like, half the time I missed, half the time I got all 50s, so, maybe I should have been playing with Hidden, I don't know. But the glass wave doesn't seem to need to. Still at seeing the map. While Tweed is a little bit behind. Tweed with another break before that session, too. Oh my, Glass Wave holds! And that's the free combo section. Wait, Tweet holds too! Oh my god! Those jumps don't look that hard, but still, they, they really are. Are we gonna see an FC out of Glass Wave? It's 
looking like it. Oh no, I should. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> Best of the break. And sweet. Now they're both even. Uh, right now, they're both going to see where they are in the rankings right now. Giving Glassway the idea. Don't question it. Don't question it. You missed once and then you gave up. Don't, don't, don't question that. <laughs> French tag. I mean, we had, we had a French caster yesterday. Alright, Glassway is down. But the difference in combo right now isn't gonna do much because of the about 120k score lead difference. So convincingly, Glass Wave is gonna take this map. Unless the tournament client doesn't want him to. In that case, he won't. But. Jojo star at the end. Gotta love it. And that will be Glass Waves. Win. Man, I... Bro, shouldn't they better, like, thank me? Like, a lot, man. I swear to God, I got out of bed for this, man. I was like, I was like this man probably needs a cast. This guy's like, anyone want to cast? And, like, three people were like, nah, nah, I don't want to cast. Nah, I can't cast. And then I'm like, I'm coming in, I'm saving the day. I'm like, I got you. I got you. Oh my god. We get to play the map. We get to play the map that I've never seen on the tourney. I've played it, but I haven't actually watched it happen. And I want to. This is the aim precision map. Tweed was hidden again. Perhaps a comfort pick, but also could be a problem for him. Tweed already breaking. That's what Hidden's gonna do with that circle size. Tweed hitting the stream section. Right now, you can tell Tweed is playing the combo game, while Glassman is playing the Osu game. <laughs> now, both of their acts not that good, but Tweed's definitely a lot worse than Glasswave right now. Glasswave holds the end, and Tweed breaks. This could give Glasswave a bit of a boost ahead because there's about a you know really free combo section coming up. And he bitched it. The last way of missing on the free combo section. This is not going to be good for him. And nor is the horny client going to be good to me. Who's going to break first? Tweed. And then Glass Wave follows shortly after. Glass Wave breaking a few more times while Tweed's keeping his combo up. Now their accuracies are the same, basically.
Looks like this map is convincingly gonna go right on over to Tweed. And then we have the cat slider, the little kitty cat. No meow. Tweed with a three miss on the map. With a hidden. Better than I could ever do. <laughs> Tweed needs to wear a jacket. This guy's just playing in the in Siberia, just like negative 20 degrees Celsius. He's just like freezing. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. And the next map is going to be Odd Loop, but AR8. And also mapped by KTGster. Now, I have a personal gripe with Holic, right? Because objectively, it's a good map, right? But I just don't like to play it. It's like... It's too much for me, man. And the funniest thing is, when I tried this, right? I, I was able to single tap all of the streams in Holic, and I didn't miss. Which is 300 BPM streams, by the way, single tapping, because it's 150 times 2. Tweed with hidden on Holic. Grid mapping. Tweed with a miss early on. Last wave missing too. Tweed misses on the back and forth section. Is that section really that hard to hit? I swear to god, I've hit it consistently, like every time. Holding glass wave on the big square jumps. If he holds on the streams here, this is gonna be glass wave's pick. He's gonna win it right now. And then we're gonna be on to a tiebreaker. Tweed breaking, almost cementing it. We are going to see the tiebreaker pick. Coming out with Glass Wave winning Holland. Well, well, well. Oh my, I wonder, I wonder how this tiebreaker is going to work. That's going to go. Alright, I'll commentate the TV. Don't start, don't start, don't start oh it. Oh my, oh we have another commentator, yo, let's go. I'm fucking carrying this tournament. 
Okay. <laughs> don't 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 you dare start the TV without me. You're already here, so. Nah, but I'm I'm not watching. Oh shit! It's the same TV. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is the second time both these players are playing the TV against each other. Last time we did see Twee taking the victory here. Last wave could have a comeback. Seems like his biggest issue before was on some of the space patterns that he kind of missed on. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully they can hold like a lot of the other players about eight to nine hundred combo at the end. That could give Last Wave a definite chance if Tweed breaks somewhere near the end. All right. Seems like Last Wave with some initial act chokes. Seems like he does have some issues with Scorpy too in the beginning of most maps. Tweed remaining, keeping his SS. The first jump section, and then stream afterwards, both players hit it. He drops 100 on a kick, uh, kick slider. Yep, accuracy is very different right now, 196 and 199.4. Crazy. All right, coming into our first key eye here, we're going to see some more streams. Both players hit it. Tweet with an unfortunate oh, shit miss no. here. That's going to put him... That's going to put him back a lot. I feel bad for Glasswave, honestly. This is his third match today. <laughs> They've all been consecutive. <laughs> I mean, right. Glasswave hits that. Same with Tweed. Pushing his combo even further ahead. About to overtake Tweed. In score, unless his accuracy is that low. Oh, yeah. He does have problems with Ack on most picks from what I've seen with this play. Oh! Glass oh. wave with the unfortunate shit miss! That's not... That's not helping... That's not helping him at all. Tweet taking back a combo lead. His act just kind of carrying him so far. Still anyone's game. Seems like Glass wave still having some problems on these. Glass wave hitting almost all 100s on that stream is not going to help him that much either. Oh! Tweet fighting another miss here! Oh. Anyone's game. Glass wave has a chance to even it out here if he can maintain some act. Honestly, both players were very evenly matched on this. Even last match, it was somewhat close. Last way closing some of this gap here. Now only a 20k difference. If he can just get his act up. Both players! Hitting both that space hitting pattern, no screen. issue! We even with HD. That's crazy. All right. Coming into our next key eye here. Glass Wave is, I think, starting to claw back a bit of Ack. Keeping his combo. Twee's also built up quite the respectable combo, though. Oh, Glass Wave with the unfortunate miss. Oh, Twee does miss oh, on the space first oh, here. Oh, my God. Glass Wave is going to be able to take it coming up Wait. here. Oh, no. Glass Wave with Wait. the other miss. Oh, no. On a triple. Glass Wave with the shit miss that's going to put it. That's going to put him back. He is clawing back a bit of Ack here, as I said previously. Seems like Twee is also losing a bit. Alright. Oh, Twee missing on the space pattern! Glass oh. Wave able to hit it with questionable Ack, though. Glass Wave, this is the part it's of the map match. where you can really hold to like 8-900 combo and just not break to the end. If Glass Wave can do that and we see one or two breaks out of Twee, this could be his map. Wait, because more, no more, no more, no more commentating, Sinbei. Oh god! All right. <laughs> no more. I'm done. I'm tired. <laughs> All right. Glasswave within 10k. He can see Twee. He's seeing it. Glasswave's combo ever increasing. Seems like he's falling back a bit. Of can might be able to here. pass the 96 combo threshold. Dropping only a few hundred on that stream. All right. Now this should be pretty free here. It's just a problem with consistency, because these are not that hard. Yeah. It's just making sure that you are consistent in hitting them. So if we see Glasswave FC to the end of this map and Tweed oh, missing one or twice like he missed. just did. Oh my god, Glasswave is gonna oh, take it! Oh, taking the Glasswave so far! Okay, if Glasswave... We just need Glasswave to hold here, we might be able to get the point out. 
We do still have that athlete. Tweety miss. is gonna miss again. I think that might be. No class oh, wave. Oh, last wave miss. with the missed combo reset on both sides. Tweety's gonna be clawing back some of that lead that he lost. Wait, this is actually intense. Oh, Tweety with Tweety the final miss. I don't think he has enough time. I don't think so either. Cause it's gonna go to the just uh, burst section. The single section bursts. And those are so hard to miss on. Unless Glasswave gets nervous, I think we might have to see the winner here. Oh, we with the break. final miss. Uh, All right, we're going to see this. It's almost solidifying it. Oh. Glasswave hits the stream, yep. All right. This is going to be taken by Glasswave. We're going to see the combo reset, boys. The combo reset? You mean the bracket reset? No, I said, did I say combo reset? I yeah. said bracket reset. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, you're fine. I can't even choose my words, dude. I woke up a little while ago. All right. Last wave is going to be taking the grand finals match, and we see the bracket reset, which means I'm going to have to lose my voice even more. I have people coming over tonight, and I think I will not be able to talk to them after all this. GG's to both sides. Glass wave. Taking it. <laughs> I feel bad for every player involved here. Sinbei, you're a sadist. Why are you allowing this to happen? Glasswave has another match. This is this shit. This this is bullying. What the fuck? Look, you gotta let him reschedule, Sinbei. This is mean. Simbae, I swear to god. Let me go use the restroom and get some water. I think I'll commentate for the final match, I don't know. All right, I have returned. All right. All right, class, we've got to, got to come in with the victory here. I guess you'll have to have your match. <laughs> That's a rip. I feel bad for you, man. So can we just talk a bit about the progression of this tournament for a second? We have <laughs> Grand Finals, right? Glass Wave loses, goes down to third place match, wins the third place match, goes back up to the normal bracket, now <laughs> wins against Twee, bracket reset one more match. Is this even allowed? I feel like they've played against each other too many times now, like they're going to be able to predict each other's play. Simbe, are there any other possible matches that I need to know about? Is there going to be like a third bracket that gets created? <laughs> We're going to have to see another match be played. <laughs> okay.
All right, Glass Wave banning FM3. Let's see what our next ban is because these players seem to Twee seems to be very quick to ban FM2, but I feel like his strategy might change now. Yes, he does ban FM10. All right, my prediction is we're gonna see Glass Wave pick FM2 here. Seems like he got comfortable with that match in the third place. Let's see what happens. We actually picking FM2. We don't see this coming out of him. Let's see what happens here. This is going to be intense. As a space stream player, I'm very excited. Don't get to see this often. Finally, we got some viewers, and I'm about to die. This is going to be my worst commentating ever, and it's going to be with people watching. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Does Twee want hidden on this? Yes, he does. This is one of those maps where I probably wouldn't recommend it even towards hidden players because of the space patterns. We might see Glass Wave have a bit of an advantage here. Twee dropping an unfortunate 50 in the beginning here. That's weird. You don't usually see that out of him. Oh, Glass Wave with the unfortunate SB. Seems like neither player has a good idea of what they're doing given Twee just missed again. Twee missing another time. Don't know why he picked this, doesn't seem to be very comfortable on it. Glass Wave, you know, after that initial choke, doesn't seem to be doing too badly here. Twee with another unfortunate miss, if that's gonna be a choke pick for him. It's still anyone's game though, it's just the beginning of the map. Coming into our slow section here. Last wave after that initial break seems to be maintaining combo with a very respectable 500 combo. We breaking again, losing the 200 combo that he had accrued. Last wave seems to be a lot more comfortable on this pick than he was previously. I guess he's gotten used to it now. Some of the more awkward changes in spacing. You know, neither player seems to be super nervous coming into this. Twee with another miss, or maybe that's why Twee's shit missing so much. But neither player seems to have an insane amount of shake. Twee's aim does seem to be a bit questionable. Uh, but other than that, I mean, both players are remarkably calm. I'm surprised. You know, both players able to hit that large spacing increase there. So he's a pretty good play all around, but those early misses from Twee are going to cost him now. Twee. Missing again, can't seem to break that 200 combo barrier. Glasslave does do a final miss, but it is not going to matter. He's going to be taking this point with a very respectable score of 790k, almost 800k. Good play all around. Also taking the first break point of the match. Glasslave seems to be opening up as he continues to play. You don't see this very often. I would definitely be tired after all that. All right, picking FM4. There we go. Glass has been getting really comfortable on this pick. He's played it, I think, in every match he's played. This is a fun map. It kind of favors him because... Because there's not a whole lot of consistency in it. Once you're hitting these slider patterns, it becomes a lot easier, right? Let's see how it goes. The last way I've taken some initial hundreds here, giving Twee the lead. This hidden pick from him is giving him an advantage. You know, for once, we see Twee kind of choking Ack here. Usually we see Glass Wave in the beginning with Bad Ack and he slowly kind of raises it, but we're kind of seeing the reverse here. Twee taking an initial Ack loss. Both players still full comboing though. Playing this finger control pretty well. Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, I, I probably have the most channel points in the channel now that I think about it. I have 1.4k because of all of the commentating I've been doing. 
All right, coming into our next build up here, we do see Glass Wave still with the Ackley. Both players still are seeing. All right, both players hitting these face patterns like it's nobody's business. Twee is going to drop more Ack. Glass Wave. Oh, Twee with the first break here. Glass Wave actually full comboing through this. Very comfortable on these sliders now after all the practice he's had. Twee with the another unfortunate miss. This is really going to set him back as the match continues. Or as the map continues, I should say. Both players still not really having a huge struggle on that wiggle stream. Twee dropping a bit of Ack on it, but pretty par for the course. Coming into our slow section here, this is where the first match they played, they exchanged a lot of misses on this part. Seems like they lost finger control, but... You know, Glassware... Glass... Glassware? Glasswave maintaining the full combo very notably through all of this. You know, about to pass that 1k barrier with a very respectful act of 95. Now, people might think that's low, but with score v2, and this is a very finger control heavy map, it's quite a good score. All right, we're coming into the last ki of the map here. This is where it all goes down. I could be witnessing a full combo of this map. We all get to. Last way, be able to hit both of these space patterns. Tragically on the burst, we lose the full combo! I think he is still gonna take this point just because of his oppressing act, his oppressive score lead. But this is crazy, Glass Wave veritably popping off. And this final match here. Respectable, he's able to play at this high a level after all the matches he's played. Glass Wave with the final miss, actually both players missing on a very similar note. Does not matter though, Glass Wave is gonna be taking it. With a very respectable four miss, over a thousand combo, and KDA's dumb go dumb, which is incredible. Here we're gonna see Tweet taking the next pick. Glassway with a very initial, with a very high two zero initial lead here. He can push it into map point at any time. Tweet's really gonna have to pull something out of his ass here in terms of picks. All right, FM eleven. I can't remember what this is. Is this a stupid one? No, it's not the stupid one. Alright, let's see it. If I remember correctly, Twee did quite well on this pick last last time. Let's see what it happens. Dude, you can tell I'm deteriorating. I'm stuttering so much. I don't usually stutter. <laughs> Look, whenever I hear Yusi's voice, I know it's going to be a good time. So we're, we're, we're bulling here. Tweak with the initial act lead here. This is looking much more characteristic of Tweak when compared to last match. Last way of finding the unfortunate shit miss in the beginning. That's going to set him back. Seems like some of the nerves are starting to get to him here. Which I don't blame him. Oh, glassware unfortunately breaking on those sliders. Tui maintaining a full combo seems to be very proficient on these patterns. His Ack is suffering along with Glass Waves, though. Glass Wave could take this just by improving Ack and waiting for a tweet to miss. Let's see what happens. You know, Tweet kind of maintaining his combo lead. Glass Wave mixes again. It seems like Tweet's very comfortable on this map. Which is quite surprising to me, if I'm being honest. This is quite some, these are some quite irregular patterns. Seeing someone be able to play these and not really break a sweat is not something you see very often. Wait, is Twee full comboing? I think he is, right? Oh! The unfortunate break from Twee! This might be an opportunity for Glassway to come back if he can keep 
some consistency throughout the rest of the map here. He does seem to struggle with some of these face patterns in the buildup, but, you know, nothing that he can't fix. Twee with another miss! Giving some time for Glasswave to catch up here. Alright! Glasswave being able to... Was that a Bancho miss? It wasn't a Bancho break. Both players break on the same pattern here. Glasswave missing again. Seems like there were some nerves coming in to this section. Both players miss again. I don't know how they're missing at the exact same time, but they're synchronized. You know, Glasswave, we actually see him taking the better act here. Twee missing again. If Glasswave can actually maintain some combo, he might be able to? I don't know. I don't think there's enough time. Still a very entertaining point coming in the end here. Though I do think we are going to see Twee taking it. Glasswave missing again. Yeah, Twee HD is going to take this pick. Kind of leveling out the playing, here, give, playing field here, giving himself a point. It is going to be Glasswave's point pick here next, so it's very possible that we do see this match... That we do see him take it into the, into match point here. Maybe we don't have to see another tiebreaker. Well, I know that's fun. I don't want to commentate over it, so I'm kind of happy. You know, both players respective, very respectable, eight miss and a nine miss, respectively. It's great play from both, honestly. We'll see what Glasswave picks next here. Seems like Twee's kind of admitting defeat here. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too. I had a feeling Glasswave was going to pick that FM5 first. Let's see what happens, though. Oh, seems like he was thinking about going for FM10 here. Okay, seems like he can't pick that because of bandlings. All right, FM1 coming into our consistency pick here. Glasswave did very well on this the first time and this is a fun map we'll see how it goes this time Senbei, why do you do this to your commentators? Why do you make your tournament so long? All right, both players seem to be struggling with Ak here at the beginning. To be able to recover, Glasswave's Ak is just slightly lagging. Historically, what we've seen from this pick is that it really just comes down to whoever chokes first. All of the players kind of have the mechanical ability for this, so that really isn't the issue. This is all a mental game from now on. Given that Twee claims that he is a bit tired, we may see that coming out for him. Glasswave able to maintain just mental stamina. Honestly, quite surprised he doesn't pick NM5 here. Maybe his fingers are starting to slow down after all this play. You know, Twee being able to maintain an act lead, but... You know, Glasswave... Glasswave is the first to miss! That's unfortunate for him! His pop-off may be ending here. Twee has a big opportunity to gain some combo and gain some act lead over him. That's very unfortunate from Glasswave. We might see it even out here. Should have gone with the FM5, man. Coming into this Ki, both players hitting it. Actually, no, Twee breaks! We might see Glass give Glasswave some time to catch up here. His act is lagging, but it seems like he is a bit more consistent on these. Never mind! Glasswave breaks on this one, too. That must be frustrating for. Very frustrating for him. Both players seem to be struggling a bit with consistency here. Seems like the score lead is starting to narrow down a bit. Got a 50k, 60k squirrely. Oh, Glasswave missing again. That's going to be unfortunate for him. My voice is dying. Please send help. <coughs> Glasswave with you, another unfortunate miss. Tui is going to continue to kind of take this lead with his combo here. Halfway through the map, it's still anyone's game, but Tui seems to be doing relatively well compared to Glasswave, though both players are definitely performing far under their peaks. Twee with another miss here, gonna give Glasswave an opportunity to build some combo. If either player can build a respectable combo on this map, it's gonna go. Glasswave able to hit that diff spike along with Twee, but Glasswave is just building this combo coming into the slow section here. And the lead's gonna start to dwindle, and given the length of this map, it's still anyone's game.
keep in mind, this is a very influential pick. If Last Wave can take this, he puts the match into match point. Given that Twee's pretty tired, I don't think he's going to be very game for whatever comes next here. Oh, Glass Wave with the unfortunate slider break. Twee is going to be able to keep some combo. Unless something catastrophic happens on Twee's end, I think he's going to be able to close it out. Glass Wave with another miss here. Both players hitting with this spike here. Coming into the slow section, there's over a 100k difference here. Unless something catastrophic happens for Twee, I think we know this is going to... Twee here. It's a pretty good point. Seems like Last Wave kind of acknowledges that. Oh, Twee with the unfortunate miss. I don't think it's going to be enough, though, for Glass Wave to catch up. We are going to see this point going to Twee. Evening out the scoreboard and making my voice slowly lose its steam. Glass Wave with another miss here. Going to kind of seal the coffin. Um. Commentating this match was not a good idea. I shouldn't have done it. But we are going to see Twee taking the second point here. Going to be evening out the scoreboard. Now it is Twee's pick, though. This is his break point. So could see him take the lead here and push it into match point. I would feel bad for Glass Wave if that happens, given all the matches he's played to get here. All right, Glass Wave picking at MA or FMA. Uh. All right, coming in here, we have this sort of aim control linear pattern stuff. Let's see what happens here. I'm trying to think back to the last match. I do believe Twee won this pick. This is a bitch. Oh, both players with the initial misses. Twee does have the commanding act here, so he's going to take it in the beginning. Some of the sliders do go hard on this map, so we could see some unfortunate breaks coming from either player. Seems like Last Wave starting to recover some act here while, you know, Twee's kind of coasting. Playing the map. Both players with a very similar combo, though. That isn't a factor just yet. Oh, Glass Wave with the unfortunate slider break. That's really going to set him back here. This map isn't incredibly long, so any misses you make are very consequential. Oh, Glass Wave with the unfortunate shit miss here. Seems like nerves are starting to get to him. That and fatigue, it doesn't make a good play here. Both players able to hit that stream, though. You know, this is still a very low scoring match, and it's definitely anyone's point. Seems like Twee's been breaking while I haven't been looking, so... You see Glass Wave gonna recover some of that combo he lost here. Score Delta is lowering. Twee's also been choking a lot of Ack here. Glass Wave does have a chance to come back if he can just... Increases Ack a bit. Seems like Glass Wave did break, though. Bancho is frozen. I'm commentating frozen. Tweed does have this combo. Never mind, it was a Bancho break. Both players have a very similar combo here, but Tweed with that Ack lead plus the hidden buff. Honestly, the biggest bane of... Glass Wave has been his poor accuracy throughout all the matches he's played. That's what have turned points that probably should have been slam dunks for him into somewhat questionable as to who's going to win here. A bit over halfway in the map, we see a 40k score difference from each player. Honestly, it can still go anywhere. It's honestly whoever breaks right now. Oh! Glass Wave with the unfortunate break. That's really going to set him back here. Twee's going to have to break sometime soon if he has any chance of winning this match now. Dude, I'm going to be low-key pissed if this goes to Glass Wave, if I'm being honest. 
Glass Wave with another miss here. I think that is going to be the nail on the coffin, unless something really bad happens on this first section for Tweet. Glass Wave with another few misses here. I think that is going to be it for him. I can't yell as much as I usually would. Glass Wave finding another miss here. You know, Tweet having a bit of trouble, but it's not going to matter. Coming into our final Ki, we are going to see a pretty commanding score lead from Tweet. Yeah, Glass Wave with another miss. I think that's going to be it for him. Both players missing again. Does not matter. We are going to see Twee taking match point. SMS in the first SMST No Limits Grand Finals. It is Glass Wave's pick, though. Let's see this go into TB. My vocal cords hate you, Sinbei. All right, chat, talk to me. I can't carry this on my own now. Ugh. All right, FM7's being picked. Oh. Glass Wave, why do you do this? He's resorting to cheese to try to get himself a match win here. Look, he even had to forfeit another match to play. You can't have him lose right now. Alright, Bancho's doing a bit of a freeze here, but we're back up. That... Th the hidden from Tui has really come in handy with him, honestly. Coming into this pick, we see an initial act deficit from Glass Wave, but nothing new here. We can very easily see him recover this throughout the match. And Twee's, you know, dropping a lot of act here, so Glass Wave seems to be playing a bit more consistently on this pick. He did play that, play this in the third place match and got a handle on how the squares and stuff on this map works. Gonna come into this much more prepared than he was for this map previously. Oh, Twee with the initial miss. That's not going to be helpful for him. Glass Wave maintaining a relatively high accuracy FC. Very uncharacteristic of him. Oh, unfortunately, as I say that, he is going to miss. Though his act is still commanding compared to Twee's measly 90. And it seems to be ever increasing. Doing very well on these bursts. Maybe his fatigue is gaining him a bit of finger control where he didn't have it previously. Both players doing pretty well on these somewhat awkward aim patterns. Oh, both players missing on the square. Combo reset, but Glass Wave's axe is going to be carrying here, carrying him here. A sentence I don't think I thought I would ever say, given the past matches. But Glass Wave's accuracy on this map is impeccable, while Twee is, I mean, 93 is not too bad on this map, but compared to Glass Wave's 95, is a pretty measly. Twee with another miss here. Glass Wave is going to be taking more of a combo lead. How the hell did Glass Wave pull this out of his ass? This is a pop-off if I've ever seen one. The era of Glass Wave may be back as we come into our TB here. Glass Wave is going to be taking this point, evening out the playing field, pushing the inaugural grand finals of SMST No Limits into the tiebreaker. Sinbei, make the announcement. Get people to come. This is the last point of the tournament. This is intense. Let's fucking see it, dude. This is incredible. Glass Wave in sheer disbelief. I'm sure Tweet just wants to go to bed right now, but we aren't doing that. I've gotten some new energy. I'm not gonna be able to talk after this. Let's fucking do it! Get hyped, chat, all five of you. The final point's gonna be a TB on Yu Shigede. We don't see this too often in the tourney scene. This is what I like to call commentator hell. But viewer pleasure, let's fucking do it. I've seen this pick being played three times. I think I know it pretty well here. Both players are very evenly matched on this, but it seems like Glass Wave does tend to struggle with Ack and on the space patterns. But after that last pick, we could see him redeem himself on these sort of streamy maps here. It's anyone's game. Let's get into it. Tweet with the initial Ack lead, nothing new here. I've, play, I've seen enough of Glassway's play to be able to tell you that this does not phase him. 
Those players SSing that first stream here. So I think that Glass Wave probably would have initially struggled on it. It's becoming very much more proficient for him. Maintaining the full combo both players. Glass Wave is going to be taking some of this act back. Increasing his score a bit as we come into our first Ki here. Let's see how they do on these first space patterns. Or these patterns, I should say. It's not space just yet. Both players hit him very proficiently. Tui remaining with the SS here. His act, his consistency really come into light here. Both players are playing at the top of their game so far. We don't see this coming too often from either. All right. Both players having no issues with these slider ends. Twee still... Oh, Glassway with the first break. Twee's remaining in SS. This is incredible play. Twee is popping off. Twee finally dropping some first hundreds, though. It does not matter. He is maintaining combo in this sort of finger control bursty section. Glasswave still playing incredibly, only with that one shit miss, but it does not matter. Twee is just better so far. It's still anyone's pick, though. If Twee misses here, this map is very easy to accrue combo on, but not for Glasswave, apparently. He is going to be taking a miss, though he is able to hit some of these streams. Twee finally taking the first miss here. We're going to see the score lead start to close out. That accrued combo is going to be very powerful for him, and his act is still impeccable. Glasswave with another few misses here. That's not going to be helping his case. Holy, Glasswave taking some more misses here. Seems like the nerds are starting to get to him. Coming in, we do see a 70-80k score deficit coming in from Glasswave here. Anything can change. This is the TB after all. Glasswave with another miss. It seems like the nerds are going to get to him. If Twee can see another big miss here, we might be able to see some combo being regained. Glasswave unfortunately missing on that space pattern, but every time Twee has played this map, he's been able to hit that space pattern and he does it once more. Hidden space patterns from Twee coming in clutch, especially now. Oh. Coming in here, we see Glasswave, you know, feeling... Oh, missing again on the space burst. Twee also misses. Combo reset from both players. Twee... Uh, Glasswave missing again. This is tragic. After all the matches he's played. It's still anyone's game though. It's under a hundred k just over a hundred k score difference here. Halfway into the map. Coming in, we're gonna see another space pattern. Oh, tweet with the tragic miss! Glasswave is gonna miss on that space pattern, which isn't gonna help him out too much though. Seems like his old nemesis, his accuracy is gonna come back to haunt him here. Kui is playing out of his mind, though, even though he's had some unfortunate breaks. His accuracy has been so high throughout the matches, especially here. This is a section where Twi can just kind of accrue a lot of combo, even though they're around similar, this 30 combo difference is going to come back to bite Glasswave in the ass here. But honestly, I could see the tides of the match shifting. Glasswave does have some occasional pop-offs, and it seems like Twi has been good about Consistently missing at points in the middle of key eyes. Both players able to hit these streams are very awkward flow aim. Coming into our key eye here, both players, you know, honestly don't seem too phased. Seems like they got over the initial nerves. Glass wave starting to accrue quite the accuracy here. Coming up. If Twee breaks, it could be all over for him. But time is running out and Twee seems to be playing fairly consistently. Unfortunately, this consistency play, this pop-off on Glass Wave is coming out. Possibly a bit too late, unless something catastrophic happens on the side of Twee. Seems like the score is starting to even out. Both players are getting used to the map, kind of playing it how they would a textbook, kind of not missing too much. Twee unfortunately missing! Will that be enough for Glasswave to come back? This is a longer map, so there is a lot of time. This is a time where Glasswave can really accrue combo. I don't think it's going to be enough for 150k, though. Still going to be incredibly close in the end, though. Incredible play from both players, honestly. Both Twee and Glasswave playing out of their minds at different sections throughout all of the matches they've been playing. But unfortunately, when it comes in the end, this old bane of Glasswave's accuracy is going to come back to haunt him, unfortunately. And we are going to see Twee take this point very likely. He's not dropping. Glasswave also isn't dropping, so his combo is kind of getting a bit bigger here. Still going to be a 100k score difference coming into this last spinner, and we are going to see Twee HD, the first winner of SMST. 
No Limits coming into a Grand Finals Bracket Reset. The closest this match could have gotten. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Sinbei, for hosting. Thank you, Vocal Cords, for not making me lose my voice. Thank you, everyone. This was a great tournament. It was an honor to commentate it. Very close match. So much hype here. Seems like Twee's very tired coming in with the victory. Super close. Seeing both players exchanging some passing remarks here. <sighs> I'm tired.